smile to death. This is chapter 12. Chapter 12 is the third and last chapter in part 4. Part 4 is, is a declaration. And I believe that you also believe or feel this way, that there is a story behind the story that we see. If you, um, if you hadn't believed this, I guess you wouldn't have been here still with me here. Chapter 12 says, there are higher purposes, higher goals to fulfill that their true value is clearer or more evident no, more evident is not the right word, that their true value is known better in the death space, in the death area. There are higher goals for us to fulfill that only when we are there we realize the bigger story with our true missions and the true reasons for all the stuff that we cope with here. I like to say that we come here with a set, with a list of missions, of challenges that we decided to go through, to cope with, to witness, to experience. And the reason for this, for this the, the purpose of this, is far beyond our ability to understand as humans. But not because we are not smart enough. It is because this is a rule of the game. It is important for us not to know everything, not to know the bigger story. It's a condition of being here to be partially blind of the bigger story. I believe that nowadays it is important for us to ask for more knowing about the true or the bigger purposes. And we start moving towards getting answers for our new questions through smiling to the mirror. I, sorry, smiling to the mirror is great. I confuse with other stuff that is related to self-love, smiling to death. When I smile to death, I'm saying, yes, I acknowledge that over there, there are things that are important for me, that actually determine many parts of my being that have answers for many puzzling things in my life. The bigger purpose, the higher purpose, it is there. But currently, I believe we have developed as civilization to a time in which we can make an, a progress and first to realize the things that we do here have implication, influence, are important for the other side, that we also are there right now. And when we are there, we have a better look over this list of missions, challenges, needs, purposes. This is the story behind the story. Now, the question is, for me to you, how do you like mystery? Why are we attracted to mystery? Mystery is also associated with adventures. Am I ready to step towards mystery with all the uncertainty and the surprises that exist over there, or do I prefer 
to stay here in my comfortable zone, comfort zone, not to risk anything and not to answer to this inner call that says, yes, I want more mystery. I want places with new surprises. I want to be more playful with life. And from there, I can enjoy life better. And from there, I can know better about the real reasons for me being here. And, and that's very interesting to realize that improving your understanding for the reason you're here is dependent on your understanding that at the same time that you are here, you're also there. And there is a parallel space that we used to refer to as to death. But this part is very active. And this part is in many ways responsible over us and sent us here with our agreement to do things that are important to this space. And we cannot, we cannot see the whole picture. We cannot see the whole list, but we can improve our status here if we allow ourselves to take a closer look at the mystery of life. And I advise you to look at the mystery of life from this point of view, that what we see, what we feel, what we touch, what we are involved in, everything here is just a part of a bigger story. And other parts of this story are alive, are present, are involved with me, making impact, and vice versa. I influence them, they sent me here, so I bring some results, and these results, like energy, is sent over there, and make influence of this developing space. It is also a developing and growing space that develops also thanks to what I'm doing here. And what I'm doing here, at least part of it, part of it was planned or was decided before as higher goals, high goals that are important for the other side, but will not be achieved unless I'm coming here. Unless I participate in this human game. And what I'm offering you right now, when I'm asking you, when I'm suggesting that you smile to death, is to go through a process in which you say emotionally, when you smile to death, I understand there is a huge and very interesting mystery that I'm involved with. I'm part of this mystery. I put myself in this mystery for some greater purposes that I cannot acknowledge fully. But I, can, I may be able to feel it. I may be able to say, well, I'm interested. I want to know more. I'm interested. I'm willing to listen, to learn. And I'm doing so. This declaration comes with a smile, with this gesture. I smile to death. I say, hello, death. I'm here. You are there. But actually, I'm also there. So who am I smiling to, really? I'm smiling to myself in my bigger form. And I'm saying, hello. I acknowledge you. You're also there. We may be friends. We may improve our cooperation. We may even make a better dialogue. And once I do it, I connect better to the bigger story. And when I connect better to the bigger story, I can also be here in the small story with a bigger understanding. And from there, many new options for 
uh, a quality of life that I didn't know I can have before. I can reduce the level of my suffering, as I said before. I can reduce the level of the pain. I can reduce the level of the anxieties. I can improve my relationships. I can live in more abundance if I smile to death. So I'm not just offering you a spiritual course here. I'm offering you a healing tool, a very specific healing tool that helps you awake to what I believe is the true story. The true story, that there is a story behind the story that we know here, we think we know. And we will never see the whole story because this is the game that we decided to go through, to forget parts of it. And another part of the game is to try to remember. That's the, that's the mystery. That's what's supposed to be interesting and even fun. So there are higher purpose for your existence, where you are specifically now, and for your challenges, for your conflicts, and for your pain, for your struggles, for your success and your fail, for your failures. There are higher purposes for everything there. And it is written over there. And the one who exists there, they can see everything. It's not that mysterious for them. It is for us. If we decide, if we choose to embrace this mystery, to say, yes, I, I agree that might be here a bigger story, and I am willing to take a bigger part of this story, well, that point we move to a new place in our life.